Hello friends, welcome to Mechanical Engineering Online Classes. Today's lecture will be delivered by Ms. Shravani Sri Ramoj. In our previous video lectures, we have already seen how to solve an LPP, Linear Programming Problem, by Graphical Method and Simplex Method. We have seen different cases in Graphical Method, different types of solution, where an LPP comprises of only two variables. A Graphical Method is, can be applicable applied only when the problem is of two variable type but in case the number of variables generally will be more than two so for that we have already learned how to apply simplex method to solve any LPP which is having number of variables two or even more whether it is to minimize or maximize now let us see what is an artificial variable technique artificial variable technique as the name suggests has an LPP when written in standard form requires artificial variables to be introduced so the variable this technique is as similar as the same as the simplex method but the only difference is in simplex method all the problems that we have solved so far it had got uh, IBFS where the slack variables in IBFS are all zero or positive all, all variables have taken zero or positive values in case in case we are not able to find an initial basic feasible solution feasibility comes from the non-negativity restriction of variables all the decision variables all the surplus or slack variables should be greater than or equal to zero this condition this condition if at all if it holds true then it means that the solution so far that is obtained is practically possible to be implemented so that is what is the meaning of feasibility right so now, in some cases, say for example, there is a surplus variable. When, uh, uh, say for example, the constraint is a greater than or equal to type. Now suppose a constraint is like this. When we are writing the standard form, we will have to write this as minus some S1 is equal to 3. Alright. So when we are trying to find the IBFS of this, initial basic feasible solution for simplex method the first step is to assume the decision variables as 0 then the value of s1 is becoming minus 3 so when uh, s1 is becoming minus 3 this non-negativity restriction is not satisfied so this con constraint is not satisfied so when it is not satisfied it is an initial solution it is a basic solution but it is not feasible solution so we are not able to find an artificial uh, we are not able to find an ibfs so in such cases we may have to introduce an artificial variable which will actually change the question the given question will be changed but still we have to introduce them and see that apply the concept of simplex simplex such that the final solution will not have those artificial variables so there are two such important methods one is the big m method or simply called as an M technique also called as method of penalties or chance penalty method so these are different names of one method only this is one artificial variable technique and then there is another important artificial variable technique called the two phase method So it's important that we understand why we are applying these techniques. So we will see in detail what a big M method is and how, how the solution is obtained through that and what two-phase method is and how to find a solution to an LPP using two-phase simplex method when artificial variables are introduced into the standard form. So there are two cases where the artificial variable need to be introduced. Now suppose the given question is this. The constraint is 3x1 plus 5x2 is greater than or equal to 3. Because the resource is already positive, we cannot uh, we cannot convert this into a less than or equal to type. Resource cannot be negative, right? If at all the given condition was 3x1 plus 5x2 greater than or equal to minus 3, then we can convert this into a less than or equal to type. Then we can write it as minus 3x1 minus 5x2 is less than or equal to 3. And then 
माइनस थ्री एक्स वन माइनस फाइव एक्स टू सम प्लस एस वन इज इक्वल टू थ्री दिस हियर यू डोंट हैव टू इंट्रोड्यूस एन आर्टिफिशियल वेरिएबल बिकॉज हियर आई कैन स्टेड अवे गेट आई बी एफ एस एज फॉर एक्स वन इक्वल टू जीरो एंड एक्स टू इक्वल टू जीरो आई विल गेट एस वन इक्वल टू थ्री बिकॉज दिस इज नेगेटिव एंड दिस इज ग्रेटर दैन इक्वल टू जीरो वी कैन कन्वर्ट इन टू लेस दैन इक्वल टू टाइप बिकॉज एनी वे वी हैव टू मेक द रिसोर्स पॉजिटिव आफ्टर मेकिंग द रिसोर्स पॉजिटिव ओनली वी हैव टू राइट द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म सो इन दिस गिवेन क्वेश्चन से द रिसोर्स इज ऑलरेडी पॉजिटिव एंड इट इज अ ग्रेटर दैन और इक्वल टू टाइप इन सच केस अवर स्लैक वेरिएबल इज अ नेगेटिव स्लैक नेगेटिव स्लैक वेरिएबल इज और सरप्लस वेरिएबल सरप्लस वेरिएबल इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज नेगेटिव स्लैक नेगेटिव स्लैक वेरिएबल we have already seen slack variables right in our simplex methods or in the standard form also you can check those videos now in case the question has come something like the constraint is this this is say one constraint another constraint is something like this these are the two constraints now when we have to write the standard form this i cannot there is no slack or surplus variable here but here there is 5x1 plus 7x2 plus some s2 is equal to 4 so x1 is equal to 0 x2 is equal to 0 s2 is 4 so this is an ibfs s2 is 4 which is 0 or more that non negativity restriction is satisfied so this uh, constraint is satisfied now let us see this when x1 is equal to 0 and x2 is equal to 0 0 is becoming equal to 3 have you observed that so when there is an equation in the constraint or when the when the constraint is of greater than or equal to type we are not able to find the ibfs you cannot uh, we, we can find these values only subjected to those constraints from those constraints only we will get the values of unknown variables or the final objective function right so artificial variable is introduced whenever there is an equation means there is an e equal to type of a constraint or when it is a greater than or equal to type of constraint we have to uh, we, we we may have to introduce artificial variables so let us solve a problem first with the big m method you can straight away see where we are introducing artificial variable and how it is useful in writing in in finding the ibfs and thereby starting with our simplex method thanks for watching if this video was of help to you please like it and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel